Hey everybody, Mazer here. Welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders. Finally, we finished Chapter 3. What a grind this one was. So without further ado, um, since everything we own doesn't matter, and returning to the city doesn't matter, look at the devastation, man. I mean, this has to be like the worst disaster area we've ever done in a Dragon Quest game. Or, uh, of this game. But because items don't matter, because all of our work doesn't matter, we'll just go straight to the uh, glowy light. So, alright, so check this out, everybody. I've been playing Dragon Quest Builders 2 offline. Uh, I, I'm not going to stream it. Oh my god, Maze of my child. The light you see before you is the portal to the next land. The items, the knowledge, yeah, yeah, will not survive the journey because this game is grindy as hell. Are you sure you want to leave and go to the next island? Yes, someone's going to come and interrupt us, and it's Glutamus. Don't tell me you're going to slink off without saying goodbye to your old mate Glutamus. You can't do this to me. I thought we were bodybuilding buddies. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Alright, so... Um, I don't want to stream Dragon Quest Builders 2 because it's even longer than this one. But it's so much better than this one. Okay, for example, yay. Wow, we only got one challenge correct. Um, there's no day limits, like days to complete. Like it's just all right there, so it feels better to explore. The islands are actually meant to be explored. Um, the uh, materials you keep from island to island which is really good. You don't forget recipes, which is awesome. You actually feel like you're freaking making progress. They have better items. Your swords don't break. Your hammers don't break. So all those are huge uh, positives. But it's even longer. Like, I think I've been playing for 15... Maybe 13 hours, and I just beat the first chapter. Ooh, where are we now? And yet, I see something. Go forth, young Mazer. Seek it out. And know, my child, that I watch over you. Always. I got a stick and bar... See, it doesn't even let me keep my, like, good weapons, man. A stick and barbells. Long have I waited for thy coming, Mazer. Be an old man. What if they lost count of the years? Thou art a built of prophecy, are thou not? Come, let me look thee up. A fledgling child. I am Murind, seer of Tentacle. Follow me. Don't have hammers. My stick sucks. Everything around me sucks. Huh? Huh? Forgive me, I'm not as young as I once was. Thou art a servant of the mighty Rubius, the one who's coming I've awaited so many long hard years. Well, no matter, our destination lies ahead. What's this? I got huge horn. I feel like this stuff will be important, so we'll gather some of this up. It's kind of pointless to even try digging up any of this material. Um, uh, uh, tell me, my boy, did thou attempt to outstrip me just then? I'm not stripping you. Even if thou wert to take a whip up to me, 
I could not move faster. Oh, God. Is a measly minnow such as the truly capable of such a feat? Yes, I, I'm the destined chosen one of whatever hell land this is. I love how everybody doubts me. Like in D uh, Dragon Quest Builders 2, nobody doubts me. Everyone's like, oh yeah, you're a builder. Help us build stuff. And, and they're like, let's build a canyon. And we do. And it's awesome. Oh, welcome to the last gasp of life remaining in Tentacle. I did bring thee here at Almighty Rubus' command that it might serve as a staging point. All right, so this is what we're going to build, huh? Beg upon him, thou wishest to know more about the statue that standeth without? Tis a lifelike image of a princess who once lived in these lands. I know not whence it came. So too must thou needs find what... I can't read this. I know many things, but how thou wilt accomplish them is not among them. Thou must think upon it thyself, because we're all useless. Thinkest thou will, uh, you'll revive this land? I can build stuff out of bones, and, and nor is there food to be found. I survive on what little nourishment I gain from the drifting mists. Oh, so I need to talk to this guy to get my hunger meter filled. Don't tell me you're teaching me how to build a horn rim bucket. Alright, uh, how do I build that? Oh, oh, I got the huge horns, now I need broken branches. I'll take the filter fountain. Ah, uh, yes. How many years have passed since I departed my home of Catlin, I do not know. But at long last, I've arrived in the land of Tetko, which was once the capital of old Alfgard. Sadly, it is no more. Though I am far from Tetko Castle, already the reek of death and despair is nigh unbearable. With the Dragon Lord's castle just across the water, it would seem that the land's have been the worst affected by the demon's curse. Tis a happy accident that this filter fountain escaped his unholy wrath. I can refill my flasks and continue my journey. All around here is contaminated by the curse, but anyone with so much as a bucket may draw sweet, clear water from the fountain. Rumors tell that was left here by a scholar who hoped to use its purifying powers to bring back life. He dwelt his hermitage to the north of this place where he could touch. Ah, oh, holy water. Okay. I will take all this. Can I, uh, what, are, what, what the hell is this thing? Can't break that. At least not yet. Wouldn't that be great if we broke that item and, like, the pond drained? We don't got. Ah. Uh, Man. I just realized we do not have, um, backpacks and crap. Yeah, that's another beauty, uh, beautiful part of, uh, Builders 2 is they give you unlimited item space. Oh, it's not this way. Apparently, I don't know how to read a compass. Oh, there's a body. How did we miss that? But there's something written in the ash next to him. Wall, hollow, hidden, stairs. Mazer cannot make anything out. All right. Mazer finds a hidden her hermitage. Is that really necessary? Ooh. Oh. Oh. Hey, skill of bum, come here. Yay! Cursed idols for the win. My stick is not strong enough to break. There's an old faded letter on top of the crate. 
Uh, I have not. I will watch it this week, I promise. Several years ago, I've passed me since my studies. I have discovered the whys by which holy water can be concocted. I uh, must need... I must needs withdraw me to the innermost chamber. Alright, so we gotta go to the... I got my first pot of healing cream. I hear enemies catching, like... Innermost chamber. Yeah, from the clips I've been watching, it is pretty gory, and I like that. I got a stick. Oh. I mean, I do like the silliness they're uh, portraying. Like, for Harley and Ivy are, like, the only serious characters. Which is funny, considering Hi Harley is, like, serious. Well, for her. But Bane's a joke. The Kite Man is a main character. They have Mr. What, uh, King Shark, who's going to be in the new Suicide Squad movie, by the way. King Shark is. Oh, shoot! You're a dragon! Hello! Okay. I see you have some Pokemon animation there where you just rotate your body and say that's an attack. Good for you. And I always will take a shot of Pokemon the moment I... Come on! Man, hit detection in this game is terrible. Seed of life. Yeah, I know, because I, I like I've heard Bane's voice, and he's like, "Oh, Harley!" And he's like doing the freaking um, Tom Hardy voice, <laughs> but he's like, "You gotta fill out your." You gotta fill out the forms. You know what I mean? Uh. <clears throat> I make five files. So what's this? Oh, cool. What sorcery is this? Why doth that water shine and sparkle? You asked me for it, douche. Sorry. My poor hero. Uh, hurry to the statue. Yay, we got ourselves a villager. I look so irritated with everybody around me right now. Look at me. Look at my little dude. He is just so angry with the world. He's like, oh my god, this grinding! Why am I naked? I like my cute little hat, though. Let me look upon thy face. Let me guess, you're gonna insult me. <laughs> oh, she actually thinks I'm dignified. Yay! <clears throat> And uh, the new 52 Harley is more, she's kind of Deadpool-ish in the sense that she does the fourth wall breaking. And that's the one where she talks to the stuffed beaver. And uh, she's a little more insane instead of being just like... I mean, she definitely has a lot more character than the original Harley. I guess you could say 52 Harley is a little more Deadpoolish. At least in the comics that I was reading. 
But I do love how they touch on her abuse and everything, and like how loyal she is to like what few friends she actually has. Take their light away! It is not needed here! Oh, now what? Now what? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, that's the biggest change, is she's more of an anti-hero now. But you... Harley was never, like, evil. Like, one of my favorite episodes in the animated series is when she tries going straight, <clears throat> but they forget to remove the tag off her clothes that she was buying, and she thought everybody was setting her up, and she ran away. Uh, that was a cute episode, because, like... Poor Batman was, like, trying so hard to help her out. But, like, there's uh, the Batman Harley Quinn movie that came out recently, the animated one. And there's, like, a, like, a lot of fart and, uh, fart and poo jokes. And I was like, yeah, this is not really necessary. Though it was funny watching her seduce Robin. I mean, I'm not ready to do that. I already talked to you guys. What? Did thou hear a faithful voice from afar? There was nothing of a sort. After all, thou art the builder. That teleporter. On the morrow. Oh! You're making me sleep? Ah. Oh. Well, what pissed me off is that ending for that episode just suck a movie. It just suck. No, no, we're going to talk about seducing Robin. I'll tell you why. I can totally see both Robin and Harley flirting. It's not preteen, Damien. It was night. I'm talking about the the movie, man. Where it was um. In the movie, she seduces Nightwing. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, she seduces Nightwing. 